Hi, it's Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing Live. I think this is number 122. <laughs> uh, how are you? We're going to talk today about the mixed voice technique and particularly going to talk about pulled up mix for a more powerful sound. This is a question I had today uh, or this week in my comments section. And um, so I thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about that. Pulled up mix. So really quickly, um, let me just... Hi, S Sherry. Nice to have you here today. Nuno, very nice to have you. Hi, Joe. Great to see you. Um, you guys, let me know if I'm... If, I'm um, if you can hear me and see me okay, all right? My... Uh, YouTube, well, it says I'm getting a good stream now, so I think we're in pretty good shape. But meanwhile, do you know when you're singing in a mix voice? Yes or no in the comment section below. Yeah, I know where I know, yes, or no, I don't know when I'm singing in a mix. Just curious about it. Do you know when you're in a mix singing voice? And uh, just yes or no in the comment section below it's really it's a really sometimes i think a rather confusing thing when you're first learning it particularly and i uh, i think maybe we may want to address a little bit of that today because i recall being uh, kind of ambivalent about it not really knowing exactly how it felt for a number of years when i first started with this particular vocal technique but, um, oh my goodness, once I started getting this sense and feel of what mix was, then the whole, the whole world changed. Hi, everybody. Let me see here. Uh, Zachary, nice to have you here today. And uh, Bestie, hi. Okay, you don't know for sure. Not sure I ever am. Um, Zachary says no. Nuna says yes, I think so. Okay, awesome. Hi from China. Nice to have you here. Your video helped me a lot. Cool. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to know that. Sherry says yes. Uh, she has a pretty good feel for when she's singing in mix. This is really vital to us as singers. So um, I remember I remember in the olden days I'd have my little cassette tape and I'd put it in my uh, in, in the vehicle I was driving, depending, we had cassette player in both our, we had a big Ford club wagon, 12 passenger. I have eight children. So we had, we loaded them in and, um, and also in my, in my other car that I used for driving to work and so forth. And really for quite a long time, I was always wondering about this mix. So Yapatios, hi, nice to have you here. Taylor Harden. Hi, Taylor. Just subscribed yesterday. Cool. Yep, you're just in time. And Peter Dacius, nice to have you here. So great to have you guys join us today. If you didn't hear this question, do you know when you're singing in a mix voice? Can you tell whether you're in mix or not when you're singing? So just let me know, yes or no, in the comments below. So uh, I think I recognize most everybody here today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I go live or when I post a video. You may have noticed I haven't posted for a little while. Um, I'm working on some things and we'll be back to posting regularly probably within the next week. So, um, okay, so let's kind of get down to it here, right? We're going to talk about what a mix is and we're going to talk about uh, what pulled up mix is. And we're going to talk about, uh, is there another option to try and get a stronger sound? So this was the question. The question to me was, I have a hard time with my uh, head voice, and so it's just not giving me any power. So can I pull up the mix to get more power? And the, and the answer is, y yes, you can. I'm not sure that that's exactly what you want to, to do. Because think about it for a minute. If you don't have a, you know, a good, solid, strong head voice, when will you develop that? When will you get your strong, solid head voice? Uh, if you're always pulling up the, bic, the, the mix. So um, first of all, 
we're going to talk what, what's mixed. Number two is we're going to talk about uh, what is pulled up mix. And then we're going to talk about uh, some alternatives maybe to that. But I'll demonstrate that or I'll try and demonstrate it. And uh, we, we can talk more about it. So uh, Peter says, yeah, he does know when he's in mix. And good for you, Peter. That's awesome. Bessie says, can you explain the difference between mix and powerful falsetto? How's the feeling exactly? Well, first of all, uh, Bestie, I don't teach falsetto. Falsetto, by my definition, is when the tone disconnects. Ah, 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 like a yodel. Ah, that part that goes high, ah, is the falsetto. And that's a disconnected tone. But I'm going to guess you mean a powerful head voice. And, uh, and so look, we're going to talk about what's the difference between the mix and a, uh, and a, and a powerful head voice. Tuchuk's Hyas, nice to have you with us today. Okay, so first of all, what is mix? Well, in order to mix something together, you have to have at least two things, right? So if you're baking something and you mix something together, let's say you have to have you know, a bowl of flour and you mix together some water in it. So you're mixing two things together. That's the idea behind a mixed voice. There's two things at least that you're combining together there. And in the case of singing, it's a mix of the chest voice and a mix of the head voice. So um, if I'm singing in my chest, and I break into falsetto, I'm not going to be able to mix because I can't blend with falsetto. I can't blend falsetto with chest. They don't blend together. And so um, if I say, I'm not mixing. I'm just pulling up the chest voice. So that's not a mix. If I said, oh, let me think. If it's so very light that I don't have the, uh, there's a big air leak in my voice, and so I've got a lot of air escaping through the vocal cords, I suppose, strictly speaking, it could be termed a mix, but what's it good for? You know, in that situation, there's so much air escaping, there's so very little chest voice. Ah, ah, uh, that I, I suppose that you probably really couldn't call that a mix either. Or if you did, it would be a very, very light or a breathy or an airy mix. So your balanced mix where you've got, uh, you've got your chest voice and you blend it with a head voice would sound more like this. So, oh, this is for the guys. This is the E, F, F sharp. E, oh. So that's a blend of chest and head voice. Now, what's happening is in the, at the E, F, and F sharp, some of the head voice starts to come in if I do it right. If I don't do it right, and I keep pulling chest, then I'm not allowing any head voice to come in. If I break into falsetto, then I'm, I'm not able to mix anything with falsetto. So uh, in order to have that mix, there has to be a, there has to be a split in the vibration in a way. We call it a split vibration. It's probably scientifically not exactly accurate because it's, how do you, you know, it's, uh, if you have a, a pool of water or a, a flood of light between one part of the cavity and a part another, another part of the cavity, it's all one thing. And yet it's resonating in two different places. That's probably the best uh, way to describe it, or it's resonating in both places, okay? So we've got some chest resonance and we've got some or some chest vibration and we've got some head vibration and that is your uh and that's the that's the way i feel that that mix so let me just say that 
um, <clears throat> one of the things I want to talk about is how do you actually turn that mix on? So maybe let's do that right now. Um, it's really connected in a, in a very simple way to the vowel. So listen, if I said, uh, as I'm going through the bridge, the ah uh, goes to uh. Ah. Can you hear that? Ah. If I don't, ah. If I, if I keep trying to say ah, and or the vowel starts to spread, then I start pulling the chest. If I let go completely, I go into falsetto. And, or if I am too light and breathy, you know what that is. And so an e, uh, a quick way to get into a mix is to not go in the falsetto, so you don't want to break into falsetto, and it's not to go so very, very breathy or light, but it's just to modify that vowel, to narrow it slightly. Ah, oops, I'm in the wrong key. Ah, ah. So now I'm on the G, which is men's, beginning of men's head voice. Ladies, what about you? Where does it start for you? Does anybody know? Hey, George, nice to have you with us today. Uh, I just asked a question, do you know when you're singing in mix? If you do, say, let me know, yes or no, in the comments. Just yes, I know, or no, I don't know when I'm in mix. So we're talking about mix today, and we're going to talk about pulled up mix. Right now I'm defining what mix is. So ladies, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, those are uh, the C sharp, you're all the way through the first bridge. In the bridge is where your, that A right here, is where your, your um, mix begins. That's the mix of chest and the mix of head voice. Now, a lot of us, all of us guys or girls, tend to, to, to bring that chest voice too high. That's one of my concerns about pulled up mix. Because I'm worried because I haven't heard this, I didn't hear, I've never heard this particular singer try this, but I'm worried that the reason why his head voice is so uh, light or weaker, that you know he, he doesn't have any power in it, is because he's pulling up chest too high and he's never really gotten into a, a like an actual mix so that he could keep, ter keep taking the mix coordination and transitioning into head all the way up. So I'll illustrate that. I get worried. Uh, so ladies, let me finish this first. A, B flat, B, C is where you begin the mix. So if I said, ah, ah, breaking in the falsetto. Ah, I would see. That's uh, so pulling up the chest. If I, um, if I don't flip on the falsetto and just keep pulling ah, and keep going, you've heard that before, right? Um, or if I'm just too breathy airy, ah, I don't have any chest really to mix in. <laughs> so I guess that's really the answer there. Um, so what you, you start to do there at the A is the same thing that I just showed you where the, the guys start doing at the E. So, um, should have stayed in the key, but here's the A, and I'm not great at illustrating in your register, but if you want to try that on the A, ah, and just slightly narrow it to A ah, to uh. and see if you can feel that uh, start to go up in above the roof of the mouth. It kind of starts to balloon a little bit, kind of opens up again in that little in that area there, and uh, you start to feel some some resonance happening there. Good. George says he does he does uh, he is aware of his mix. Awesome, you guys. Um, okay, so Betsy uh, Bestie says you. 
said we can't pass our bridge with pushing and or with our chest uh, and, and or with our chest voice, then how do the singers belt them? Many singers belt by pulling the chest voice. Yeah. So uh, we can't uh, we can't pass the bridge pushing or pulling chest uh, bestie and mix. OK, that's that's what I. Hopefully, I, I uh, maybe I misspoke that, but if I said, ah, yeah, I'm I'm pulling the chest voice higher, but I can't mix when I'm just pulling chest because there's no head voice coming in. So if I keep pulling chest higher and higher, uh, I just have to yell harder and harder. Uh, and unfortunately, that's what happens when some people try and belt it. They're just yelling the chest voice higher and they'll never get into a mix, they'll never get into head voice, they'll have to crack and break into falsetto, which is disconnected tone. So if I kept pulling the chest voice higher, whether it's for in the girl's register or my register, <laughs> ah, 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 I break into falsetto. And how often have you heard that in both men and women's voices? Now, the ladies can kind of get away with it, but us guys, we can't. We just can't sing that way. Uh, well, I mean, well, I guess it depends on the genre. I can't sing that way on stage. Nobody would take me seriously, <laughs> right? Hey, Zach, nice to have you here. Uh, now that you mentioned it, might I, I, I might be able to tell now. Okay, good. So hopefully this is helping a little bit. Uh, have you tried that, ladies? Ah, ah, ah. Or guys down here. Ah, 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 ah. Now the interesting thing about head voice is you just stay in the same condition. <clears throat> you don't change anything. Ah, 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 ah. You're in this you're in that place, you just got through the bridge, and you you keep the same coordination. Now, let's talk about what's pulled up mix. What do you think pulled up mix would be? Well, if I said, uh, let's just say I did it on nay, nay, nay for a second. Nay, 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 nay. Where is it? The, I'm going to get in the key of G. Nay, 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 nay. What is that? It's not pulled chest. Nay, nay, nay. It's not falsetto. Nay, nay. Uh. It's not. Um, it's not. It's not strictly head voice. And so, it's got to be a mix, even though it's a little bit on that witchy side. Nah. Let's just say I do it now instead of saying. I said nay, 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 nay. No, 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 no. What if I said no, 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 no? Can you hear some of the condition of that brattier, witchier sound in that no? No. Well, what is that? I wouldn't say that's head voice. I. I would say I'm pulling mix up. It's not pulled up chest. Ah! It's not falsetto. Ah! So it's if it's not mix, if it's not falsetto, it's not head voice, and it's not pulled up chest. It's got to be some kind of a mix. So if I said nay, 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 nay. I wouldn't say that was just pure head voice. I'm in the head register for sure, but you hear all that, uh, the bottom in, in, in that sound, and it's a harder, edgier, cutting, cutting sound. And, uh, and so um, it's not pulled up chest, it's not falsetto, it's not just pure head voice. So I would say it's mix 
that was pulled higher and higher. <clears throat> so if I said, ah, 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 sorry, <clears throat> got some stuff on the embrace the phlegm, right? If anything, I would say that that uh, pulled up mix certainly is more, it's got a lot of, um, well, I don't know how you would describe it. I would say it's probably uh, definitely louder and so forth and maybe has more bite to it. Uh, maybe it's kind of an R&B, more R&B kind of feel. Let me take a couple comments here. What do you think? Joe says, um, oh, okay, uh, Bestie says, it really sounds like head voice to me. Uh, yep. Well, it did, doesn't feel like head voice. <laughs> let me see if I could, uh, okay, so let me see if I could illustrate the difference. Let me see if I can do it. I don't know. I've really never tried it. If I said, oh. I would say for me that's oh, mix 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 head voice head voice head voice head voice now let me see if I can illustrate more of a pulled up mix kind of feel oh, So for me, that's more of the pulled up mix. Um, it's a little bit different than. Can you hear the difference? There's more of the, I guess it's be a little bit more of a pharyngeal kind of presence in that. Okay, let's see. Joe says, um, I can keep it. I can keep it from breaking into uh, into falsetto, but I can't get rid of the crack completely as you do. Um, I understand that, Joe. And there's probably, you know, we'd have to take a look at your voice individually and see what, you know, what's going on. But um, now there's a difference between feeling the transition and a complete crack. So if you're not breaking into falsetto completely, you're probably just feeling a little road bump there. That's the transition. And that can that actually could smooth out over time. It did for me. I used to remember feeling all the time being able to uh, 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 I'd feel like in the middle there, I'd feel like kind of that transit. I don't feel it anymore. And so in, in time, you can eliminate it. But if the larynx is coming up, ah, 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 if, it's, if it's the larynx coming up and it does break, then, you know, of course, you're going to feel it. Uh, it's possible that it's breaking and reconnecting on the way up, too. Usually it's because the larynx is too high, almost always, um, in some way. Okay, so um, or there's a little bit of reach in it. Uh, just as I also break where you do. Right, I think if I remember, uh, your bridge is you're a, more of a contralto, the deeper voice. Am I right, Joe? Okay, Jovi Gold. Hi, nice to have you here, Jovi. So if you didn't hear the question, do you know when you're in your mix? Yes or no, let me know in the section below. All right, so... Um, so that pulled up mix is a harder, a harder sound. It's, I think it's more of an R and B or gospel kind of sound. Um, <clears throat> uh, maybe an edger rock uh, and so forth. But uh, you know, it's, I think it's, it's still a little bit less than necessarily optimal. So we'll talk a little bit about maybe what's an option here um, the third, the, the other option would be just to develop your head voice. So we'll take, take that in a second. 
Um, Zachary asked, how do we know if the larynx is too high? Zach, if, um, if you break on the way up, the larynx is coming up. Um, so if I had a, uh, <coughs> I don't know if I can do this today or not, but let me just say, if, let me just show you the difference in sound for a second. If I said, ye -e One is the larynx is up, the other the larynx is down. And so um, usually it's, it's um, you feel it if there's some kind of a reach. If you feel like you're, you know, you're going into swallowing mode where the, you know, you, the larynx really start to travel up. Um, usually you can't hit your upper, you can't hit your, your upper notes. Um, and you also can't hit the lower notes. If the larynx is up, it's hard to get the low notes together. So, mine's in pretty good shape today, but um, <clears throat> I, if there's a little bit of, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it, it's, it's different it's not where you speak. Now, I should say, Jack, uh, uh, Zach, that there are there are singers who students that have come in and they talk with a high larynx. The larynx is up, and I think mine was too for most of my life, um, and just through the last several years, uh, I've noticed it dropping, and the sound got deeper and so forth. Now, part of it is I'm aging, and that's you know another another a aspect of it, but. So indications that the larynx is too high, uh, number one is you're, you're breaking into falsetto or you're pulling the chest voice up. Ah! If the vowel spreads wide, the larynx is going to come up. So if I'm singing, ah! so if you notice that the vowel is changing from what you would normally just speak to something that's spreading open ah, or ah, you know if if the vowel is changing the larynx is coming up trust me and so those are indications that the, the larynx is going up you don't want that to happen we don't talk that way and so another way to measure it is where um where is it where is it where does it rest when you speak how does it feel when you speak? And, um, and that's where it should be. That's what we want to have happen when we, when we sing. Which leads me to, uh, let me take a couple more comments. Joby says, um, I go off key now and then. Which, uh, which kind of practice should I do, please? It's giving me a headache. Jovi, um, there isn't any necessarily any scales that, um, well, it's, here's, the, here's the question. Do you go off pitch when you go to the bridge of the voice or do you go off pitch in that you can't find the pitch at all? So if I played this note, ah, do you, are you able to hit that note or this note? Ah, 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 ah. Can you hit those notes? Do you go off pitch only as you go higher and as you approach the bridge? Ah. That's the question. Let me know the answer to that, and, I'll, and then I'll respond. Betsy says, sorry, Bestie says, uh, yeah, that's mix, I think. But when you sing, how do you fastly trans, uh, transition to your... Uh, your voice to chest, chest to mix. Imagine you're singing around the G4, A4, A4 or C5. How do you do it without cracks and, or other weaker sounds? So Bessie, what you've got to practice is keeping the larynx down. So one exercise for that, everybody, would be to say, 
Uh, to do kind of a, if you put your hand here on your on your Adam's apple, and Bessie, you probably have to kind of like put your finger in there and feel feel that lump. It's about mid mid neck. If you swallow, you can feel it move up. It goes up, and that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to go into swallowing mode while we sing. And so, if you put your hand there on your Adam's apple and say, duh, not just duh, but duh, you can feel it drop. Duh. And so you can do exercises with that kind of imposed larynx just to, to start retraining the larynx to stay down. Now, we don't sing that way, but the exercises help condition the larynx to stay a little bit lower. So you, you start to feel that you don't have to raise the larynx in order to sing higher. So one exercise would be a, a gi sound. Like this, gee, 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 with that dopey sound. Gee, 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 gee. And you put your hand here on your Adam's apple, and you can feel that it's if with that dopey sound it pulls it down, and don't let it go up during those exercises. Gee, 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 gee. And just keep that imposition, and that starts to retrain the larynx from going up. So when you're singing and you're starting to learn how to transition, then you, you go to these longer scales. That's a great way to start practicing the transition. This is an even better way. Because that my vocal cords are adjusting and I'm going through that bridge, both bridges, and coming back down again and the vocal cords are adjusting nicely. So, you know, those are great exercises to learn to adjust or to, you know, to make the transition or the tongue trill. Great, great exercises to develop the, the speed and agility to adjust from chest through the middle, through your, your mix and into your head voice. Now let's talk about, about what the alternatives are. Number three, the alternatives to pulling up the mix. We know we don't want to pull up chest. And you can always pull mix down. That's okay. It's never okay to pull chest up. And so pulling mix up, I think is a little bit, you have to really have a handle on mix. Otherwise you risk the possibility of pulling chest. And if you feel like you're going to crack or you do crack, you probably were pulling chest. Or if you feel like the larynx is going up, you're pulling chest. So <clears throat> as an alternative to pulling up, pulling up the mixed voice is a lo little bit longer term work. And it takes a little bit longer to, to develop the, uh, the head voice because there can't be any tension in it. There can't be any reaching in it. Uh, because there's, if there's a little squeeze on the vocal cords, they're just not going to function 100%. They're not going to function as easily as they are when, they're, when there's a complete release. There's no, there's no tension in it. There's no squeeze of the vocal cords. Once we get to the point without that, then the vocal cords start doing their job very nicely. So... I'm not, not sure what condition I'm in today. I haven't done any vocal warm-ups, but if I just said mom, 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 I'm not. Uh, that's that's not pulled up mix. That's just uh, going in. I'm just going into head voice. Mom, 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 mom. That's the high A. That's ladies. That's your first bridge. Now, it takes a little while to develop the strength of the head voice, but you get to it not by pulling up mix. That's not how you develop it. You get to it by uh, working to get a balance of chest, uh, uh, the balanced voice throughout the range. And so that just takes some time. So how do you, how do you do it? And I'll just, I'll just say right now, in the description below 
is the uh, Get Your Vocal Type PDF. Getting your vocal type, finding out what your vocal type is will help you just to understand what you tend to do when you sing through the bridge, when you're going into your mix. And just by identifying whether you're pulled chest, high larynx, or whether you're flip falsetto, whether you're um, light chest, no chest, or whether you're mix, is going to help is going to help you develop that head voice. It's going to help get your voice in balanced, in balance. So go to the, in the description below. It says get your vocal type. It's a PDF. It's got links to the vocal test. It's got links to all the videos on each vocal type, and it's got links to the exercises that you download. So you want to start there. It's going to help you transition from chest. Bestie, it's going to help you transition from chest through the middle into your head voice and back down again. And it's going to help you develop the agility to do it quickly, to transition quickly. Um, and so what I'm saying is, is that the alternative to developing your head voice takes a little bit longer, but it's really, really um, rewarding. And so, um, again, I'm not in, not in really excellent, I don't think I'm really in excellent voice today, but um, just being able to sing up there with some strength is, you know, it's so, such an advantage. So it starts feeling the same everywhere, no matter whether I'm in the bridge or whether I'm in chest, really, or whether I'm in head voice. So that's about an octave there and a half, or octave and a, and a half tone. So the, um, when you start finding that coordination of the head voice, which, is, which comes about by just getting this balance in the voice, so there's no squeeze, no tension on it, then uh, the, the vocal cords can kick in and uh, and you get this depth of chord, and you get this brilliance, and you know these get this power in your voice. That's where this whole technique takes you. Being able to develop a mix, and then transitioning into head voice without tension, without reaching up, without the larynx coming up, and over time, um, you develop that that quality of of singing where it, no matter where you're at. It feels the same. It's the same same thing. There's no reach in it. So it's that's that's where everything is headed, and it's so possible, you guys. I know. Because there was a time I couldn't sing any higher than this. Uh, I was 43 before I learned that it was possible to go higher. I had no idea I could do that. Hi, Daniel. Nice to have you here today. I wanted to say hi to oh, and uh, Analu. Hi. Nice to have you here. Is belting just a strong mix voice? So, Analu, what is the definition of belting? That's part of the problem here, is that some people call pulled up chest belting, and some people have a different different uh, you know name for it. And so, uh, you know, it really kind of depends on what it sounds like and how they're producing it. There's a university in my state here that teaches something called belt, and it's uh, it's a high larynx mix. Um, it's supposed to be. The vowels are a little bit more open, a little wider, um, and I don't particularly like the sound because there's a lot of overtones that are missing in the voice. I've heard uh, singers on stage doing the belt and uh, they have two volumes, loud and soft. And so, you know, I'd, I'd watch 
one one belter singing to another belter, you know, and it's a romantic moment, and it's just loud, 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 and soft, 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 soft. So it just didn't seem to have the the dynamic range. Now I'm sure everybody's different. You know, this particular singer couldn't do that, and so it was it was really really hard for them to be able to sing. Oh. To be able to do that loud, soft, soft, loud kind of uh, thing. And that's what the mix and the head voice does for you. So, um, so it, one definition of, it, of a belt is a high larynx mix with a little more open vowel. Uh, a reduction in, in, in some of the overtones of the, a more open or more um, natural voice. So uh, that's my definition. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, I could do, so Beth, uh, Bessie says I can do most exercises, but I can't do them on songs. I can do most exercises, but I can't do them on songs, like diaphragm or mix. Well, that's certainly the be first step, though, isn't it, Bessie? You, you've got to be able to do them in the exercises. And if you can, you'll get them. If you're doing them right, they'll they'll translate to the songs. Uh, if you're not doing them right, they won't. <laughs> but there's here's the other thing, Bess, is you, you you now you get into the words, so the, the words are changing vowels that change the vowels, and that can get you into that's a whole another discussion. Um, that is the, the management of vowels. We'll talk more about that at another time. Uh, John H says, uh, is there an exercise to keep? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm missing Akshay here. Akshay, hi, nice to have you here. We can learn to, uh, can we learn to mix without learning the basics of singing? Can we learn to mix? I couldn't. You may be able to, but I was not uh, informed enough. I didn't have enough background. I didn't have enough understanding of my voice uh, to do that. So for me, no, uh, I don't know about others. I haven't met, I have met a few people who seem to mix naturally, but they're natural singers, born, just had this gift. But uh, for people like me, I haven't met anybody that just figured it out on their own. John H. asks, hi John, nice to have you here. Those of you who have just joined us, do you know when you're singing in mix? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. And also be sure and subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed, thumbs up, subscribe, Hit the bell button. Um, and the other thing I wanted to tell you is that if you haven't gotten your vocal type, get the PDF in the description below to get your vocal type. It'll take you to the test. The PDF will take you has links to take you to uh, videos about the vocal types, and it will take you to the exercises. It's the absolute first step to getting through your bridge with mix. Okay. But John says, How do, is there an exercise to keep the larynx low? Yes, John. If you put your hand here on your Adam's apple and say, duh, really stupid, duh. Not just duh, but duh. You should feel it drop, duh. And so what you want to do is you want to take that dopey sound and do it on gee. And then say, gee, 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 gee. Or goo, 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 goo. Now if you stay, if you keep that lyrics, that dopey sound going, it'll go a little hooty. Goo, 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 goo. If I don't, goo, 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 goo. My larynx is coming up. Or goo, 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 it, it might crack or break. So I want to keep that dopey sound. Gee, 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 gee. And that's helping me practice retraining the nervous system. Keep that larynx down. And if I say larynx is up. I gotta stay kind of dopey, kind of hooty. It's the best exercise to keep the larynx down. Or goo goo goo. As it says, uh, what. Uh, wobble or tone is changing when it comes to uh, when it comes to mix too, right? 
I'm not sure what W O V E L is, uh, Bet uh, Vesti. Uh, tone is changing. It really shouldn't. Um, there's not. It it's resonating. It's vibrating in a different place, and so it may. It's going to sound a little different. Yeah, it's gonna. The the tone is going to, because it's vibrating in a different place in the instrument, is going to be a little different. So it's a pitch difference. There's not a lot of difference in terms of mechanic. So, but there is a bit of difference in tone because it's, it's, there's a vibration moving to a different part of your body. Just like the tone is different down here. <laughs> Three octaves, that's not too bad. Um, okay, so let me see. Uh, um, Analu is building a strong mix. Is building just a strong mix voice. Okay, we answer that. Daniello, Danny, Danny, Dan, Daniel, Danello, Danello. Sorry about that, Danello. Uh, nice exercises. Thanks. Hey, Danello, nice to have you with us today. Um, great to to meet you. I couldn't do. I couldn't. I couldn't to download the free PDF in your link. Wouldn't it didn't work? Well, I'll double check it. Thanks for letting me know, uh, Danilo. So I will double check that link and it will. I will fix it if it's if it's broken. Anybody else have trouble with that? Uh, let me know. If someone wants to try that and see if if there's a problem, let me know. Uh, Danilo can't get his to download. Um, so I'll I'll double check it. It'd be nice to know if someone else um, is is able to be successful with it. Um, okay, so we've got um, uh, Akshay says, "What's my vocal range?" Hey, that's about it today, Akshay. So uh, that's the G. So that's G two. Uh, Really, for me, I mean, I I can perform at this. Uh, that's the E two, and I mean, I can I just vocalized up to the G five. So, um, a performance range for me, I've performed a, a song as high. I had a, a high C in it, the C five, the C five. Uh, it was just a passing note, but I've done that in a performance, and I auditioned once with a song that had a B flat in it, a B flat four. Um, but generally speaking, I perform in, in lower, in the, you know, maybe, um, anywhere. So my, my, my performance range would probably be more like an A flat, A flat four and down, um, middle C area and so forth. But that's the, the range is, uh, E2 to about G5. Uh, so, Bestie says, do you mean pulled up chest exercises? I'll definitely download them. They're not pulled up chest exercises. They are exercises to stop you from pulling up chest, okay? That's the pull chest high larynx. Exercises are to, are to help you not to do that and, and to teach you another way to bridge without having to do that. You uh, for combat. Hi, nice to have you. It's been a while. I haven't seen you. Uh, very cool exercises every week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for being here, uh, Daniel Mark. Are you? Hi, Daniel. Nice to have you here. Um, are you familiar with singers like Adam Lambert? Yeah, he's quite rocky, but he sounds like he's got a loud mix. I would say so. Is this a high larynx, a high larynx mix, or you know, I think the guy's got a gift. <laughs> Uh, that's a good example of somebody who has a gift. 
I think he's uh, probably in his head voice, and it's a real strong head voice. Um, there may be some pulled up mix periodically in it, but he gets up there. He really gets up there. So uh, I would say he probably just has a really solid head voice. Aqua Epic. Hey, Aqua Epic. I don't know you. Nice to have you here today. Uh, is there an exercise that helps with fluidity? If you listen to a singer such as Joey Tempest, he does it perfectly. I would like to learn to match that. I don't know exactly, uh, Aqua Epic, what you mean by fluidity, but um, again, this one and a half scale is great because it takes you from your chest uh, an octave and a half up and into your to your head voice. So if I said, uh, if I said, um, well, if I just did it this way. the best exercise for fluidity that there is um, because it helps you transition helps the vocal cords make the transition it balances the voice keeps the larynx down and that's just a great exercise the tongue trill same way you can do it faster and faster and faster two chooks uh, no okay um, Maybe this has helped, and Tuchuk's be nice to know if you're feeling a little more uh, uh, informed on the mix. So, uh, Chris, hi, Chris. Nice to have you here today. Uh, some mix are more chest. Some mix are more chestful. What can be done to sound a bit less heady when you want to sing a song that is telling a story that uh, should be speech-like? Um, when you want to sound a little bit less heady. Yeah, Chris, so um, again, one, of course, what you want to keep working on is, is, is balance, getting balance in the voice so there's no reaching with it, there's no larynx coming up and so forth, so we're not squeezing the vocal cords. And, we, you know, it's helpful to have the low breath pulling your tummy in when you're, when you're doing the exercises and so forth. Uh, so we want to eliminate the tension, we want to eliminate reaching, and as we do that more and more and get to the point where we keep the larynx down, uh, then the, the rest of the voice starts kicking in and the head voice starts coming in stronger. I would say that's, that's your longer term solution. Um, when you want to be a little less heady and you want the song to be a little bit more spoken, I would say, uh, Chris, that one of the first things I would do just to get you to get you a little bit more strength. Let's just say that when you're doing you're you're doing that and you kind of go into a more of a legit softer sound. Uh, more like uh, good night my someone good night my love sleep tight my you know so but you you want to have more to your voice than that. I would say Nay, 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 nay. So you might want to do an exercise like nay, 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 and go a little bit towards that exaggerated sound. Nay, 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 and then maybe no, 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 no. No, but keep a little bit of that condition of of the nay nay in there. No, 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 no. You know, so that you're you're starting to get the same sensibility of that little bit of exaggerated witchy sound into the into your voice. That's a quick fix that sometimes can give you what you need to do in a song that's coming up. But the long, the long term would be to keep working on developing the, uh, you know, your head, your head voice and the mix and your chest, all of it together. Hope that helps. Aksha says, I, th I think mix requires compression in the vocal cords and resonance in the pharyngeal region, but I can't do it practically. And then I sound like a cat moaning. <laughs> Chuck, please do a live chat about compression. 
So um, <clears throat> it should be all, it, there is compression. There is compression in our singing. And we've got to wrap this up really quickly. Thanks for everyone's participation today. It's been really exciting. Um, we've got to, we've got to be able to, there is a, a compression, it's, but it's a friendly compression. It's not a squeezed or a pinched compression of the chord structure as the air is passing through. Uh, what we find is that by getting the right balance of air with the, the vocal cords closing around it, the muscle of the vocal cord, by getting them balanced, then, then, the, then that's when the real power sets in. So if I said, um, so again, Akshay, if, 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 if you just need, yeah, so if, if you think the mix requires compression in the vocal cords, I don't know that it does require it. A lot of people rely on a little bit more of a compression, like the nay, nay, nay gives a little bit, not really compression, but there's a little bit more tension. Uh, in the in the muscle of the chord, nay, not not tension. Um, yeah, I guess be maybe it's a little bit more compressed. Uh, I don't know what the word is here. I'm I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, nay, 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 nay. You can certainly do that and start to get start to fill that in. But really, where it comes from is the is this a complete um, relaxation and it's a letting go and kind of pressing into the condition of letting go and I start feeling that and think wow that's that's you know a nice strong powerful head voice but I just keep keep re reproducing the same thing I think let go Chuck and then press into that uh, get a little bit louder into that feel of letting go that's the f sharp uh, ladies you'll find the same thing c sharp c b flat b b flat a the further you are away from the bridge the easier it gets so here's the f sharp so hard one harder one for us guys because it's the top of the bridge so an exercise to build your mix, you guys, is to say no 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 and keep the second vowel in the same place the first one was. I didn't say no 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 I didn't do that. That's pulling up chest. No 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 So I leaned heavier, I leaned more, I got louder, I crescendoed on that narrower place, in that narrow place. I didn't let it go spreading. No, 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 no. Not like that. No, 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 no. That's where you got to keep that to build that mix. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, 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 no. It's all got to be staying in that same narrower place to build their mixed voice. If you go in the chest, you're just going to build chest. Uh, Akshay was able to download the PDF. So, um, I can't, Dan, Daniel, uh, uh, or Dan, uh, Danilo, uh, we had someone here who could download it. Try a different browser. I think, uh, uh, well, mine is Chrome. Um, uh, turn off your computer, you know, reboot the computer when after you're getting off here to see if you can download that. If you can't, uh, um, leave a comment that, you, you know, and I'll, I'll try and figure out another way to get it to you. Okay, a couple of the people are saying the PDF is working. So... Uh, thanks for checking on that, everyone. Okay, we have gone over an hour. What a session today, you guys. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful in some way. We're talking about things, you guys, that take some time. It takes some time to learn. It takes some time to begin to feel. It takes some time for the nervous system to accept it. It takes some time to build new muscle memory. And, uh, and it's not something that goes by forcing it. 
That's what's the challenge behind this. You just can't force it. You've got to be patient with it and try and do things as correctly as possible. And then, and then the, the, the right things begin happening. Um, okay, Akshay could download it. So thank you for double checking. Visibel, hi, nice to have you here today. The mo vowel modification, it means that when we, we're singing, uh, we have that sing in the, uh, we have that sing in the high notes with vowel modification. Example, e to e to e. Can you do an example in mix? Yeah. So that's a great question. So if I'm going to modify the vowel, let's just say, uh, in if I don't modify, if I say, can you feel the love tonight? So I'm I'm spreading the vowel. Can so I'm going to go from a to e. Can you feel? So take it from a can a to e can. Can you feel the? Spread that vowel. The uh, to, uh, the love. And on love, I don't let it go to love. Love la. Uh, so uh, la a uh, to e. Uh, love love tonight um, is an example. So it's not a big modification. It's just enough to help you stay in your mix. Can, can you feel the love tonight? Versus, can you feel the love tonight? You can hear the splatting, splatting, splatting. By taking uh, ad e, uh, ad e, uh, those are going to make a difference. And in, in you're going to, it's going to sound like you, you sound when you speak them. You don't say, can you feel that love tonight? You don't say that, that. <laughs> but that's how we sing it sometimes. Um, okay, hope that helps, Visible. Uh, Chris says, uh, this witch sound helps a lot. It's a nice switch, uh, this uh, nay to no. Thanks. Or than to ma'am. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Joe. Uh, thanks, George. Fahad. Uh, Fahad. Thank you. Nice to have you here today. Daniel, thanks. Great, everybody. Thank you. Love you all. Uh, be sure and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for being with me today. This is Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing Live. And uh, remember, you can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next one.